The 15 largest economies in Africa rank by nominal GDP or gross domestic product, which is the monetary value of all goods and services a country produces. We'll also take a look at the living standard of each country by putting the size of the economy in relation to the population. To give you an idea of how rich or poor the country's citizens are on average, I will also be showing you the gross national income or GNI per capita of each individual country. GNI is the total amount of money earned by nations, people and businesses. So let's go! Number 15 is Cameroon. Cameroon's nominal GDP in 2019 was 38.8 billion US dollars. Cameroon's population of more than 26.5 million people is growing by over 2.5% each year. The country's gross national income in 2019 was 1,500 US dollars. That's close to the average of the Sub-Saharan Africa region of 1,550 US dollars. Number 14, Tunisia. The size of the Tunisian economy is about equal to Cameroon's economy. Tunisia does, however, only have a population of 11.8 million people. That's why its GNI per capita is more than double that of Cameroon's. Number 13. The Democratic Republic of the Congo recorded a GDP of $47.3 billion in 2019. Its population of around 90 million people is growing by over 3% each year. The Democratic Republic of the Congo is one of the poorest in Africa. Its GNI is just $520 per capita. Number 12. Libya, with a 52.1 billion GDP. Libya has a population of 6.9 million people. The country's gross national income is $7,640. Number 11. Côte d'Ivoire. The country has a nominal GDP of $58.8 billion and a population of around 26.5 million people that is growing by 2.5% annually. The GNI of Côte d'Ivoire was last recorded at $2,290. The 10th largest economy in Africa is Tanzania. The country has a GDP of 63.2 billion US dollars. Tanzania's population of about 60 million people is growing very quickly by around 3% annually. With a GNI of $1,080, Tanzania is categorized as a lower middle income nation by the World Bank. Number 9. Ghana. Ghana recorded a GDP of 67.0 billion US dollars in 2019. Ghana has a population of more than 31 million people and a yearly population growth rate of over 2%. Ghana's GNI per capita is $2,220. Number 8. Angola. Angola's GDP in 2019 was $94.6 billion. Its population of around 33 million people is growing by over 3% each year. Angola's gross national income per capita is $3,050. Number 7. Kenya. Kenya has a GDP of $95.5 billion. Kenya has a population of around 54 million people and an annual population growth rate of more than 2%. The country's GNI was $1,750 in 2019. And number 6, Ethiopia. Ethiopia recorded a GDP of $96.1 billion in 2019. Ethiopia has a population of more than 115 million people that is growing by over 2.5% each year. Ethiopia's standard of living is below the average of the Sub-Saharan Africa region. Number 5, Morocco. The fifth largest economy in Africa has a GDP of $119 billion and a population of around 37 million people. Morocco's gross national income in 2019 was $3,190 per capita. Number 4. Algeria. Algeria has a GDP of $170 billion. Algeria has a population of around 44 million people. The country's GNI per capita is $3,970. Number 3. Egypt. With a nominal GDP of $303 billion, Egypt is the third largest economy on the African continent. Its population of over 102 million people is still growing by almost 2% annually. Egypt's GNI in 2019 
was $2,690 per capita. The second largest economy in Africa is South Africa, which recorded a GDP of 351 billion US dollars in 2019. South Africa has a population of around 59.5 million people. South Africa's GNI of $6,040 per capita is not the highest within the top 15 African economies, but still has the second highest value in this list after Libya. And the largest economy in Africa is Nigeria, the most populous nation in Africa. Nigeria's population of more than 206 million people continues to grow by 2.5% each year. Nigeria's normal gross domestic product in 2019 was worth 448 billion US dollars. Nigeria's standard of living is not very elevated, but still considerably higher than the average of the Sub-Saharan Africa region. 